Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and no, I'm not doing an instructional video for Agricola. Instead, during our fundraiser, we had a perk level that if you donated and had an awesome gaming accessory, then I would come on and talk about it. And I'm thrilled to say that Go7 Gaming donated at that level. And I say thrilled because they make fantastic custom inserts, and I've shown some of them before, and I have a few more to share with you now. In fact, I have some extras that I'm going to give away as part of a contest. So stick around and see how you can enter for that. Go7 Gaming provided me with a ton of inserts, and I want to share all of them with you. But I'm going to break these up over a few different videos so you can watch them in shorter sittings. Or back to back if you want. I'll put links to each of these videos in the descriptions as I go along. I'm currently assembling the Arcadia Quest insert, so that's probably going to appear in a later one. But I think you'll want to check it out. It's pretty fantastic. Speaking of which, the inserts do require assembly. This is how they come shipped to you. And if you'd like to see an example of how to put one together, I'll put a link in the description of this video. But just know, it's very simple. Let's begin by looking at Agricola. This is a game that comes with a bunch of components. And that's where these custom inserts can really shine. Because it's nice when the game will facilitate setting it up and putting it away. Which, as you know, is not true of most inserts that come with the game. I should mention with this insert and all the boards and manuals, it's still flush to the top. So your box lid is going to sit on nice and tight. It's not going to be floating at all. I also want to mention I don't have all the various expansions and accessories for Agricola. Agricola is space limited, so you're going to want to make sure that you check the item page on the Go7 Gaming site to make sure that it will accommodate your game and all the expansions that you have. But here you can see we have sections to store the various decks of cards. We have a variety of the tokens for the animals and other accessories. We can lift this out actually and put it right on the gaming table when we're playing so people can draw from this and then put them back in here which makes for easy storage when you're putting things away. We have a second layer for the different player pieces. For the various tiles, this area pulls out from the insert as well. Something else you could put on the gaming table. And this box pulls out as well and it will store a variety of different bits that you can organize as you need depending again on what expansions you have for the game. Again, you can go to the Go7 Gaming website, which I'll put a link to in the description of this video, where you'll be able to see this insert with some of the other custom meeples and content that you can get for Agricola. Maybe you don't have Agricola, but you were drawn to the more recently released Caverna. I just wanted to show you the box cover again is all the way down, and this is a big box packed full of stuff, as you're about to see. As we remove the cover, we're going to see something very similar to Agricola. The instruction manuals and all the boards, which I'll just pull away once again. And here we get to the good stuff. Many of the various resources all separated into their own sections. And this entire tray you can pull out. And we'll take a closer look at this in a second. But you can see, just put this on the gaming table and people can draw from it. This insert just keeps going. We're getting down to the bottom layers here. You can see we have sections for storing the different tiles. But then these also come out for holding the various tokens that, again, you can just place around the table for people to have easy access to. We have some player pieces here with more underneath. And this section comes out as well, and underneath you can find the cards. One of the nice features about this insert is that you can customize it to your liking. These dividers can be placed in the insert along any of these ridges, so you can divide up the tiles the way that you want to. And extras are included for the small side over here as well. And this is definitely one of the biggest highlights of the insert. All these different sections to store the many and varied components of the game. This way you're not spending a bunch of time opening up a variety of separate baggies before you can even get started in the game. Just pull the tray, drop it on the table, and get started. We all know it's the quality of the gameplay that matters, right? That doesn't mean we don't mind when the game comes packed with a bunch of cardboard and plastic though, and few publishers pack as much stuff into their games as level 99. Let's take a look at the insert here that Go7 Gaming has created for Argent the Consortium. If you haven't seen it already, we have a full instructional video for Argent the Consortium if you'd like to check that out. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. It's worth mentioning that if you sleeve your cards, then these inserts where possible will accommodate that. You can see here for Argent, there's room around the cards and above them for the extra room that that plastic is going to take up. Once again, of course, we have trays that you can remove and set around the gaming area for easy storage and sorting, including one here on the bottom for the additional player pieces and spots for the tokens and different tiles. This insert also has room for the components that come with the expansion so you can store all of it in a single box. Hopefully from watching this video, you can see why I would say that Go7 Gaming provides 
premium custom insert solutions for your favorite games. And you can go to their website to see these inserts or other ones that they offer in greater detail along with the assembly instructions if you're curious. And I'm going to be featuring some more of their inserts in some future episodes. I think it'd be neat to look at some more card-based games like Conquest, the LCG, and maybe Seven Wonders with all the different expansions. And many more, but we'll look at those when the time comes. Until then, I'd like to tell you about a contest that we're offering so you can win the Agricola insert. And we're going to have some future contests and win some other inserts as well. But for the Agricola one, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video. Go to that and you'll be able to enter your name and your address. And you'll have to enter a code word as well. And the code word is the Twitter handle for Go7Gaming without the at symbol in the front. Enter those details by May 31st, 2015. And shortly after that, I'll do a draw and give away an Agricola insert. So thanks to Go7Gaming for offering that for me to give away. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.